If you'd like to learn an easy, quick decorating technique for cookies, this is the tutorial for you. Hey bakers, I'm Angela and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you something that is such an easy cookie decorating technique and it actually happens before we bake our cookies. So here I'm just going to quickly show you how I roll and cut my cookies. You can see I've got my guide sticks on either side of my cookie dough, just using my rolling pin and the parchment paper to roll everything out nice and evenly. And then as I made these for Valentine's Day, I'm just using some regular three inch heart cutters to cut out our shapes perfect so now that we've got our cookie shapes cut I'm gonna add them to my baking tray which you can see here is lined with parchment paper that's my preference for when I bake my cookies and of course if you want a more detailed video you can click on the one above that shows you how I make my cookies now this is where the magic happens to create that crackled effect on your cookies we're actually going to paint them with white food color in you can see here i'm using quite a wide flat brush as well you want to put a nice amount of white food coloring on your brush and then simply brush it onto that raw cookie dough straight away you'll notice that it does start to seep into that cookie it absorbs it slightly so you may need to go over it a couple of times if you want the really good crackle effect if you just want it to be fairly pale you wouldn't need to add as much food coloring with it and you can do this in different colors as well let's zoom in so you can have a bit of a closer look at this technique there's really no skill level involved in this at all either and I love that it gives such a nice vintage look to our cookies which actually would be really hard to replicate once those cookies are baked so again I'm really loading up my brush with that food color in and I'm just going over my cookie until it is fully covered have a look at that first one that we did, the one that's on the right of the one I'm doing now. You can see again that some spots are appearing where it has absorbed it more than in other places. So you could go over that a bit more if you wanted to, or you could just leave it as it is. I think these look great though. This is such an easy technique. Now these are going to bake in my oven at 325 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes and this is what they look like when they're done. Doesn't it look amazing? I mean that cookie is pretty much finished and ready to go. But what we will do is actually add a little bit more detail to them once they cool down just to pretty them up a little bit more. And you want to make sure that your cookies are fully cooled before you move on to decorating them otherwise that will affect your icing. So now I've just got some medium consistency raw icing and a scribe tool and this is actually the first time that I've picked up a piping bag with raw icing in seven months so I was a little bit nervous doing this. If you follow my channel for a while you'll know that I've had a shoulder injury which means I haven't been able to make much cookie content for the last little while so this was the first ones that I made and I couldn't wait to share the results with you. So let's start by just holding our piping bag above the surface we're not touching the cookie at all when we pipe and then you just want to gently squeeze and let that icing flow and direct it with your hand again you don't want your icing bag to touch the surface of your cookie when you're piping otherwise you won't get that nice full puffy look to the heart outline that we're piping here and I think it's just a very simple technique something that finishes off the cookie really nicely and you could do these in different colors you could paint the icing once it's dried you could even add some sprinkles or little piped flowers to them as well the possibilities are endless when you do something like this and I just love that this technique is already done for you once they're baked so you can just spend a little bit of time prettying them up at the end and there you go that's my four crackled effect cookies I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to have a go at this technique and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.